trickle, trickle, la la la, trickle on in, so that I can make some cool announcements for the uh, Friday giveaway. So just hang in there if you guys are just tuning in. Just gonna let them trickle on in. That's a party Friday. So are we live on YouTube? We're live everywhere. Well, I think everyone got a notification by now. So I will start the show, I think. Should I go ahead and start? Okay, so guess what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to start the show. Today is you know what? Is you know what? Is you know what today is fry yay giveaway oh yeah fry yay giveaway <laughs> you guys today is fry yay giveaway yay woo blah, 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 pop the champagne yay so you guys today's giveaway item is I might have given it away already the four inch medium scrubby oh yeah just so you know that this is the four inch this is the three inch no we're not giving away this I'm giving you away the four inch baby the big mama sita over here oh yeah big mama jamma so you guys you know the drill what are we gonna do so that I know who you are and you will be put into the drawing so at the end of the show I will draw a name so you guys just let us know you're watching and just say hashtag I love my jewel tool yay if you guys do that Kristen will know to put your name in the little <laughs> the little compartment <laughs> for the discs and I will pull a name towards the end of the show so you guys, yes, so join the Friday giveaway by putting, uh, typing the hashtag, I love my jewel tool. So it's on the screen. You guys see right here, right here, right, 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 right here. Okay, so you guys, so this is the giveaway. It's the four inch, four inch, four inch. If you're watching it quietly, it's the four inch medium scrubby. That's our giveaway item today. Okay, you guys. So, um, what else? $36, yeah, it's a like worth about thirty-six dollars, guys. This isn't no kind of little flimsy things that Ani just gives away here. We give away some good stuff. I like to give away. I like to give. I'm a giver. What can I say? So, you guys. We're going to do a really good show today. We're going to do a really good show. We're going to have a really good show today because, oh, I forgot to text Rita. Ooh, I am going to work on stamping, stamps. So I'm not going to make any stamps today. So I'm going to use some Impress Art stamps and some stamps that we made um, throughout the weeks here on the live shows. I'm going to incorporate the shiny hammer that we made. I'm going to use that and show you guys how that works out. Meanwhile, I got to text Rita. Crap. So sorry. I told her I'm going to text her when I'm on. I'm on. There you go. <laughs> Problem solved. So you guys, um, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, <laughs> just say real quick. Wait, in a second. Huh? Oh, okay. Well, I still would like to say hi to everybody. Oh, I might? Okay, just the their names real quick. Okay, so Kristen is saying that, because I like to say hi to everyone, because I feel like you guys are coming to my party. And I like to greet everyone, because that's what you do when you're a good host and you love the friends that are coming in. You want to say hi to everyone. And then Kristen's like, there's a lot of people today. 
And I said, it's okay. I'll say hi to everyone. Who's here, Kristen? Just tell me. Rita's here. Hey, Rita. Rita's from, um, she's an amazing stamper. And she's going to help. Do you guys have any stamping questions, just so you know? Uh, Rita is on. And I told her, <laughs> stay on. If they have any special stamping questions, you can be um, our stamping um, professional expert. Yeah, and her Facebook name is Rita Panula. She's an excellent metalsmith. So you guys, um, I'm going to show you guys not only how to stamp, because I'm not the stamper. I'm going to whack something and show you guys all sorts of designs. But I'm going to show you how to make that piece look really good and professional and high end. So you guys, okay, so Kristen wants to tell me who's here. So who has joined the party? Oh, Kristen's actually typing everyone's names. So it's easy for her to read. But. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's okay, Yaro, you tell me who. But meanwhile, I would like to give a shout out. Well, oh, I'll do it right now. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Okay. Who is here today? Hi, everyone. And we, oh, we have Serena. Hi, Serena. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Kat. Hi, Robin. Oh, Robin's here. Bonnie, hi. Connie, hi. And we got Margaret. Oh, thank you so much for joining, Margaret. And we've got Lynn. Hello, hello. And we got Ellen. N Nicole. I'm going to give you a shout out in just a second. You guys have no idea what Nicole made. Okay. And we got Carlin. Claire. Oh, Claire. Everyone. And Teresa, keep going, Ma Yara. And Georgian, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Deborah. And Deborah, thank you so much for coming and watching the party today. Carolyn. And Carolyn, Hi, Carol, love you. Kimberly. And Kimberly, thank you so much. That's Kimmy. Kimberly. Hi, Kimmy. Ellie. Ellie. Teresa. And Teresa. Wow, you guys have all come in. Yeah. Debbie, Carrie. Kathy, I love you, every single one of you. That's right. We and we've got Kevin. Hi, Kevin. We've got men. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we got Helen. Hi, Helen. Helen Wagner. She's so cute. And Holly, how you guys doing? How you doing? I feel like everyone's coming to the party. I'm going to have. See, this gives me so much energy. Now I'm super excited. And we go. Oh, hi, Barbara. Barbara. Hi, Barbara Witt. I was talking to Barbara Witt just yesterday. I'm going to showed off one of her cuffs. Keaton? Who? Kathy. Ka Kathy Keaton. Hi, Kathy. And Wendy, our Wendy Shaw. I love you guys. I love every single one of you guys. And David's here. David Roland, Roland. David. <laughs> and Sarah. Oh, my God. No wonder Kristen's like, and Janet. You guys are awesome. Deanne. Awesome. And Deanne. Okay. Deanne. Many, many more. Okay, so you guys, just, you know me, I like to show you guys off so nicole sends me this this morning so she we finished these hammers do you guys there you go do you guys see these okay this is not like a joke here she refinished these hammers but wait you guys there's more she said she posted them up for sale and she goes what did you say nicole like the second she posted them, boom, sold, baby, sold. And because they're beautifully finished. People love shiny things. Everyone's attracted to shiny, pretty things. You know, and then like Nicole, I was saying, Nicole, you can go and buy, like I have crappy hammers that have been old. Some people, you know, sell all their jewelers equipment. Like you can totally change this, grind the edge of this down, turn it into one of these right here, like for pennies, like seriously, sometimes you can buy these like for 50 cents in a, like a big uh, chunk, you know, like, I don't know, like a garage sale or a lot or something in bulk. But what I'm saying is, and so then, then Nicole says to me, cause we're going back and forth on Instagram messages. She says, Ani, I swear this is like another side business I could do this and sharpening you guys there's, and it's like, effortless there's not that much money to invest for the money to roll in 
sharpening, no real investment there. You're not buying any products. You're not buying any inventory. It's just a service you provide. I'm telling you, it's lovely. So, yes, so if you guys want to know my Instagram, that's my Instagram right there, just so you guys know. A lot of you guys are on Instagram. It's so funny. You guys have, like, these interesting names, and you guys send me a message, and I'm like, I remember doing that once, and I'm like, is that you? Like, I, I anyways. And then a quick little shout-out real quick to Barbara Witt. Look what Barbara did, you guys. So Barbara did this, okay? It's her first time, first time. You guys see that? So she stamped it, and she finished it all on the jewel tool. So this is, uh, here, leave that. So this is an up-close finished shot of what she made. Isn't that just gorgeous? But you know what she said? I'll summarize it, and you guys can even go to her post. She posted it in the Jewel Tool community, and I posted it everywhere. Um, she said that she's used to working with conventional uh, systems, and this was so much easier, and her hands didn't hurt, and the piece didn't get hot, and I was just so grateful for it. So, beautiful work, Barbara. Okay, so I would like to, and that's all I've got. Oh, but, but you guys have to see this. Can we just show this real quick? Nicole? This she sent me. I don't. You guys have all seen this, but I need to show you guys this. Come, tell her. Hey, Mike, turn on the jewel tool. Okay. <laughs> and that's so cute. Did you guys hear that? This little beans right here. Nicole's little daughter. She told her here. I'll put it by my uh, microphone. Hold on. Listen. Oh, shoot. <laughs> she told Alexa to turn on the jewel tool. How adorable. I can't, I think I'll like watch that another 50 times, Nicole. Okay, so anyways, however, I have uh, something special today. Um, you might wonder why I have like a champagne glass here. Well, you guys. I'm ready to have a party. Oh, yeah. Do you know why I'm ready to have a party? Because I'm going to... That's right. Wish our lovely friend Kat a happy birthday! Happy birthday, Kat! Woo! So cheers to you, Kat, for a lovely, blessed, healthy and happy year. Oh, that's delicious. So that Italian uh, orange soda there. <coughs> so I want to send you happy birthday wishes from me to you, Kat. Kat Wamsley, it's her birthday today. And everyone just wish her a very happy birthday. So there you go. See, I did pop something. No champagne here because I got to work. It's boring. Huh, anyways, so you guys, that was fun. So isn't that cool? Like yes, so you guys, without further ado, <laughs> yeah, 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 so, <laughs> like, so we have, I'm going to wish a special wish for you. I'm going to wish, but I can't tell you the wish because it won't come true, but I'm going to wish it and blow it out. Let me say it. Okay. Happy birthday, cat. That's right. Well, I love birthdays, so I love celebrating. It just kind of sucks. I didn't do this for Yaro's birthday last week. <laughs> and then, and then, okay, so we're going to do stamping today. Oh, is, um, is Myra watching? We don't, we don't know. Because I just remembered it was Myra's birthday last week, but we, I found out after the live show. So let me know if she's watching, guys. I'd love to. Ha, ha, ha. I'm a stinker. You know who's the biggest stinker? Your hubby, Brian, is the biggest stinker. How do you think I knew? That husband deserves something to you. You know what I mean, Kat? So he's such a sweet guy. So um, 
that's what we do here at Jewel Tool. So if you're not used to this video, buckle up, baby. Okay, so you guys, we have, so I have some stamps that Rita's giving me. I don't have a whole lot, but remember you guys, the objective here is how to clean up the back of the stamp after you whack it, after it gets lumpy and all that stuff. So um, I am gonna, sh I'm gonna like make some stamps and then I'm gonna clean them up. I'm gonna show you guys how to get high end finishes. So I really don't have much of a plan. I was asking Rita, what do I do? She says, clean up everything like you always do. And then she goes, I'll answer questions for stamping. So, oh, let me move this aside. Hold on. Who calls me a brat? I love you, cat. Okay, so you guys, um, what have I done? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you guys, look. Huh? You're following me? You follow? Okay, so I have a lot of all these little discs and dies. And I have some of the blanks that Rita's given me in the past. Do you guys see these? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do, how to clean up the, uh, the bracelet and a lot of these. I know these are quite popular, so I'm gonna show you guys how to clean these out more than anything. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to first stamp some stuff. Let me stamp some stuff. I already stamped. The only stamp I have, you guys, is this California <laughs> stamp that Rita gave me. <laughs> okay, so it's right here. I stamped it earlier. Look, you guys. All right. State of California. Okay. But that's if, you know, like, but that's just already stamped. But the, the surface is really kind of ugly. So I want to show you guys... If I, I polished this one before we started, you can see how pretty that is once you polish it. So much prettier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I have a plan, kind of. Hold on. There's no rushing Ani. <laughs> Don't rush Ani. <laughs> I'm a master at work. Okay, so you guys, let me go ahead. Yeah, so I'm going to stamp the center. Look, you guys, ready and go. All right, that's good. So we went ahead and stamped it, and it came out really nice and clean. So I'm going to show you a before and after of what it looks like, you guys. This was before I polished, and this is the after. Yeah, the one on the left is before, and the one on the right is after. So a lot of people don't like the marring that happens in the back. Do you guys see that? Or the little dimple that comes up. And I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that really quick. So let's go ahead and show you how I get rid of that. So I'm going to use, depending on how soft the metal is, I might use the very fine scratch eraser. What did she, what did Margaret say? That's true. Honestly, Margaret, I love you. Plans can be overrated. I like to have like a direction, but not a, like an exacto plan. Let me zoom in you guys to show you guys what I did. Okay, so here we are. Let it focus. Yara always tells me. Let it focus. Oh, it's not focusing, Yara. I zoomed in too quick. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, so this is the polished one now that I have all my fingerprints. And this is the one that was done without the polish, just so you guys can see the difference. Like already, you're gonna migrate to the shiny one. I know you guys, little preview. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna take this and clean the backside of it really quick. So you can, if it's a little dimple, you can get away with just the felt wheel in the polishing compound. But if it is not so easily done, you can take the, I want to say, uh, probably if it's a softer metal, no, I'll either do the fine or the very fine. But I know a lot of you guys have um, the fine of the scratch eraser. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my God, who said this? Okay, so wait, I need to look. Please, camera, camera, look at me. Teresa's husband just said, every time, we have to play a drinking game. Every time Ani says, you guys, you take a shot. Not a shot, a drink, a drink. Okay, I changed it. I said a shot. <laughs> but Kristen loved it so much, she was laughing while saying that little comment in my ear. You guys, honestly, that definitely would be a fun game, she said. Yes, it would be, you guys. We should do that one day. We sh and no, we know that you guys really can't go driving anywhere, so it's like perfect. <laughs> I'm the one that can't have the fun. All right, so I've got the fine on here, and I'm just going to show you guys how to smooth that down. You guys see how quickly it just smoothed that down really, really effortlessly. So too fast, Yaro says, to even focus there and then flip it around and there we go you can polish it or leave it a nice smooth satin finish you could leave it like that or leave a nice little finish with your very fine scrubby that also puts a pretty finish oh yeah it's super pretty there you go look at that let it focus so you there you go. That's that's pretty good. That's super clean. Oh, isn't that so much nicer than Yeah. Isn't that so much nicer than seeing that? You know what I mean? Like look, do you see it's all in the details, you guys. No one wants to see that. Okay. So you guys, that's that. Now the surface that I got all gooked up is clean and polished. So I'm gonna go back to stamping this sucker. Okay, so since I already polished it, we're going to go back to stamping it. So hold on, let me wipe this out. So I'm going to start stamping it some more. Okay, I'm going to put little designs on. And if it kind of rounds over, I should have used a bigger one. I don't know why I grabbed such a small one. But we can keep doing this, okay, you guys? All right, so, so this is just a regular ball nose hammer, you guys. You wait, we are, you are, where are you? I'm talking to nobody. Don't reply to comments. Kristen can do that. <laughs> okay. So, you guys, I have two hammers. I have the gorgeous hammer that we made. <laughs> when did we make this? Did we do this this week? Last week? I don't know. And then we polished this. So, it went from zero, caca, to hero. Okay. So, I'm actually going to use both and show you different textures. I'm not going to do a complete project. So, let's go ahead... I saw Rita do this on her show. So she put like a little texture on the out on the side. You want to see that, Yarrow? Just tilt it. Okay, you guys see that? Okay, so now I'm going to do a little texture with my shiny ball. Oh, yeah. Let's see who's going to win now. So I'm going to hold it here. Oh, it's like diamond cut. Oh, how pretty. <gasps> oh, my God. You guys have to see the difference. Oh, my God. We should do the whole bracelet, like uh, a bracelet like this. Okay. So, hold on. Let me wipe my fingerprint off of it. Okay. So, there you go. So, do you guys see how shiny... Um, the one that I did. Let me take off these fingers. Why do I have these on? Driving me nuts. Here. So do you guys see how... Okay, so this was done with the little hammer. And then the bottom right here is where it was done with the shiny hammer. What a difference, huh, you guys? So this area right here was done with the other hammer. And then the shiny ones down below are the ones with my shiny hammer. So, you guys, it really makes a difference when you have a nice shiny hammer. Okay, so I le I'm going to leave it like this. And then, wait, I also have, look what I have. I don't have a Sharpie anymore. I actually have a, like a patina marker. So, let's go ahead and patina that little stampers. Hold on. There. I think that's good. 
Okay, so we'll let that dry. And then I'm going to do another uh, stamp. Okay, so let's go ahead. And what else am I going to do? Let's work on, let's do this big one that I worked on. Do you guys see this nice shiny one that we, we cut out that time with our, um, what? oh shoot, things are going to go. Yeah, that. Okay, you guys see that? So I don't know what I'm going to stamp with this. The only other stamp I have, again, is the, doesn't matter, Yarrow says. I only have the California <laughs> stamp. So we'll do that again. Oh, I'm going to do both. I'm going to decorate. The, so the stamp I made, I'm going to decorate the outside with. So we're going to, huh? Okay, so this is the stamp I made. Remember that square one we made and we put like little designs on it? Hi, Susan. Susan Jones has just joined us. How you doing, Susan? So you guys, so, so we made the stamp out of a drill bit. Right? The hammers look pretty good. So I'm just putting a little design on it. So beautiful. I'm such a good stamper, huh? It's a str I was going to say, I think it's a screwdriver bit, Yarrow. It works on a drill. It works on anything. It will I can chuck this in my jewel tool flex shaft. So you get how pretty is that actually? And I'm going to do half of it like this and half of it. So what ends up happening is when you can't stamp right, things ooze out of the outside. This is kind of fun here. Oh, it's more than half? Okay, well, whatever. It's okay, I have more discs. So this is what I've done thus far. You guys see that? So I put like a little cute little design. I don't know what I was doing, you guys, but you get the idea. So what ends up happening is the outside gets a little funky and bumpy and lumpy. And, you know, especially if you're like a serious stamper, things get really weirded out. So like even if you're going to hammer it, like so let me do the other half. This is too much fun. I'm going to keep hammering. Okay. Oh my God. What a pretty textured hammer look. Look at this, you guys. How pretty is that? Look at the textured polish, you guys, on, um, a po uh, on whatever. The disc. The disc. So. Yeah, and then look, even if you're going to do, you, I mean, that's the importance of polishing the hammers. Remember, we covered the polishing of the hammer. So, you guys, honestly, this is a lot of fun because I know it's not going to be effort. So, I'm having, I really am having fun, but in the same token, I want to give you guys techniques on, like, if, like, if let's say I put, you know, other designs, like, you know, something like this, I don't know. Remember I created some last time. But either way, I just want to show you guys how to clean up everything. You know, just, c you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Just kind of giving it an extra shine, you know. And well, I don't know. Okay, I'm not focusing because I'm getting text messages. So I'm just going to give you guys some extra designs because I'm such a good stamper okay so you guys I'm gonna clean this bad boy up so let's say that we didn't put a name or anything we're just putting designs and whatnot on this that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put designs on this how about that oh that's a tight one I am. I'm going to go through it. That's so sharp. And then I'm going to put some more because this is my favorite one. Oh, something moved. Okay, so there we go. <gasps> How pretty is this? 
and I kind of like created like a little bit of a a cool little like a like a disc like a bowl so these are so pretty I've seen Rita do this <gasps> now that I'm thinking about it, Rita I've seen you do this Rita has done a lot of this now look I go to town okay so she's actually created something like this and then she'll take like someone's like initial or something and add it to it and it's like a cool little background yeah there you go I knew I've seen that before okay so what I'm gonna do now is fix everything else let me show you guys with this camera up close you guys see this so this is what happens and then the all the sides yes a little inverted dome hi Kara hi Sharon thank you so much look at how pretty that is isn't this nice I'm like I'm telling you I love when I plan nothing and I'm surprised along with you guys so what I'm gonna do you guys isn't that oh Rita thank you Rita Rita gave me some love yeah Rita do you remember you've done this so Rita has these really good designs where like I said she'll take like put something you know stamped and like do another dimensional thing but like look you guys this was not polished so this looks like something that like you know young kids would do you know as a craft project but look at what you can do this stamping can turn you into like rodeo drive kind of quality like who wants that like look at the one that we polished well it's not ready yet but like look at that i haven't taken the patina off but hey maybe i'll just make something how exciting is that we're making something okay so you guys i'm gonna take my fine scratch eraser okay and rita loves her fine scratch eraser she's like give me the medium give me the course so i gotta send you some too rita so let me go ahead. Yes, yeah, so it is a little beaten up. So instead of honestly, you guys, look, thank you guys for all the love. I can hear it all. Kristen is giving me all your comments in my ear. So you guys, instead of doing this by hand, you know, with a little emery thing, you know, no, this will give you a cleaner edge. So do you guys see how beaten up that is? Some areas like are even protruding out. So you just simply, you guys know the drill. Just roll and look at that clean. Oh, clean fresh. It's like Clorox clean. So there, just keep it going, just roll. There's really no special you know magic that I'm doing there you go there you go you see that you see how clean that is all the way across so when someone holds this they're like god this is well made look at that it doesn't look unfinished or whatever you know so from here if you want to leave some of the hammered texture you can or you can simply just glide over it real quick. Yes, Rita says work smarter, not harder. No one wants to work hard. So look, if I just glide over it ever so lightly, even that's pretty. But still, no one wants any kind of hammered look. So if I just hold it there a little longer, you guys, I'll get a lot of that, those pits and stuff out however I must admit you guys my um, my bench block is not my bench block I don't know what happened to my bench block oh thank you so my bench block is really crappy I gotta show you guys my bench block because this is not a real bench block this is something from Yarrow's stuff it's got a weld mark and I just grabbed it and I cleaned the rust off of it other than that it should be a lot smoother and shinier that's what you see transferred onto my piece yes Rita loves her <laughs> I love you Rita yes Rita has a jewel tool 
and she really knows how to finish her pieces beautifully. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I got to stop talking, guys. So I really kind of whacked it good on a really rough surface. So just so you know, even if you have a crappy rough surface like I just did, you can totally clean it up. Now, let's say you don't want the backside like satin finish. Let's say you want it polished, right? So let me go ahead. So there's still going to be some pits in this, you guys. Just so you know, only because my bench block was crap, was really crap. Okay, so just remember, you guys, to enter in the drawing, don't forget to hashtag I love my jewel tool. And but like, look how what is not to love? We cleaned all the sides. We and we pull it with that. Oh wait, that, that's my fingerprints. I gotta clean that. These are getting dirty. So nonetheless. Let's keep going. Um, let me go ahead. So if you want a polished look, you guys, let me show you guys how to polish it. But again, you can go to the scrubby. You can go to one of the brushes and get a pretty brush finish. Let's say you just want to call it a day and just put like a brush finish, let's say with the radio brush. This is what it'll look like. Just to give you guys a quick little overview. Let it focus. You know, just I'm just saying like a little bit of an extra... You know what I mean, jelly bean? So if you want that, that even looks pretty. That even looks very clean and whatnot. But let's say you want to polish, no problem. I'm showing you all options. You're the creator, so you can create whatever you want. So you can stop here with the satin finish, or you can take it to a polish. Okay, so already we get the polish. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, who said that, Kristen? I can't hear the vacuum on. Oh, hi, Lisa. Lisa just popped in. Hi, Lisa. And said, yay, she's so excited when she's able to watch these live. And she said all her cuff jewelry and her discs are all beautifully finished with the jewel tool. So yay. So there we go. Hi, Tom, negotiator. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're almost done. I just have this little section to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. So just keep that all going right there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so we've done that. Look at that. That's so pretty. You guys see that? Woo! -hoo! I got to get it off the light so you can. Hi, hi. That's me. Why? Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna work on the outer edge. So don't forget the outer edge, you guys. Just give it a quick little roll, a little rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, a little roll. There we go. And I think we're done, but like, look at, look at that, you guys. This is what separates the boys, I don't know, the big boys, girls, I don't even know that expression, never mind. So we did that, I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is, now if you want to take that to a higher polish, just use the buff or your magic buff. Um, I'm going to show you guys both. However, what's happening here, I want to tell you guys. So remember how I've told you guys my fingers have like traveled the world. They went to Germany, Tucson. I've been using them since we started the lives. So what ends up happening after a while if I've been polishing, some of the compound starts to um, go back on the piece that you polished. You guys see that? That's all from my finger. That's not from anything else because clearly we didn't polish that. So that's from my finger. So I'm actually going to take these off because now they're doing more harm than good. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can. So I'm just going to wipe this down real quick. 
so yeah so the the item on the screen is the felt I just used so many oh god yeah they're getting sticky and another uh, telltale sign that they're getting old is the inside starting to get sticky I don't know if you guys can tell but there's there's remnants on my finger and I haven't even used this yet do you guys see that I haven't even polished with this finger yet exposed so definitely time to change out those yeah, Yarrow says you got a whole five yards of it. It's true, but now look, all that compound that I put with my finger is lodged, but it's okay. It just comes off really quick. So, um, Judy, um, we do get a rough edge. When you're going to stamp all the way to the outer edge, so Judy asks, how do you not get a rough edge? Okay, oh God, you guys, hello. Hello! Um, so Judy, you're going to get a rough edge, especially if you're hammering like we did all the way to the edge. And it's going to start buckling over, you know, and showing up on the edge. So I'm showing you guys how to clean it. Does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, so the magic buff would do really nice. You guys want to see what the magic... Okay, I'll do both. Um, I'll do this after. Let's do the magic buff. Yeah, the cat is correct. The tape is good until it gets old. Ooh. So with the magic buff, you just want to like touch it lightly and you get the polish. So you don't want to be pushing this hard. Just kind of glide over it. And there you go. Super clean. And it's really nice. Oh, when I grunt, wait, 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 what happened? When you grind, that's my fingerprint there, y'all. Um, when you, gr I don't know what the question is. I really don't. I'm so confused. So just give it a little, this is really nice. This is where the magic buff comes into play. If you've got like details and you don't want any compound in them, why, hello, hello. You guys see that? So if you oh if you get if you're grinding and you got a rough edge, use your that's the question I think she's asking if she grinds and she gets a sharp uh, a rough edge. Use your uh, scratch eraser to smooth it, just like we did with this. So you guys, what do you guys think? Not bad, huh? So nice. Looks delicious, Yaro said. So you can sit right here. Let me find my other stamp that I that I did. Remember this beautiful thing? So do I just wipe it off like this? How about, a can I just polish it? I'm such a lazy rubber. I'll just like use my felt. Watch this guys. Look how fast it'll take off patina. Just real quick. Oh yeah. Look at that. Woohoo! Hold on, let me h get that other one. So I got this one. Let me wipe my fingerprints off. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look. Yeah, it's not focusing pretty. It's not shiny. It's too shiny. It doesn't want to focus. Don't get too close. Yeah, back it up a little. Everyone could see what it is. It's just California. So now we've got shiny, shiny. Just California. Give it a little polish. I'm going to make a little necklace because Rita gave me oh it's so nice Rita gave me um, what did you give me you she gave me jump rings too to make so there we go so I'm gonna put this here you guys see that a second yes scratch eraser is gold for it is gold for st stuff like this okay so, so since I don't have, you guys, a uh, bail on this because I made it into a disc, so I'm going to just drill a hole into this and drill a hole into this, but I don't know. I don't know if I like this California, you guys. Are you guys digging California? No. Okay, so th I know I like two-tone, but how about if we did something, oh shoot. 
How about if we did something that is the same yellow on yellow but with a mat? I want a different texture. Okay, I'm not digging the California. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to leave this as is. You guys see how pretty that came out? Look at that gorgeousness. Okay, so we're going to leave this and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to drill a hole there and I'm going to drill a hole here. So let's, yeah, not yet. So first, you guys, let me go ahead and do this disc. Okay, so what am I doing with this disc? Hmm, I don't even know. Huh, let's see. So let's stamp something. Oh, let's do it. Should we do another texture? Maybe like, um, okay, so you guys, before I stamp it, this is good. Before I stamp it, let me clean it because it's not pretty at all. So whether I'm going to leave it satin finish or not or whatever, I still have to clean it. So let me go ahead and put my dirty fingers on. You like the texture idea? So you guys, so um, so I was just told go with the texture idea. I will. So let's, should we do this like more of a matte kind of a look? Let's Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this bad boy up, okay? Let's do that. So, okay, so we're going to, yes, got it. Okay, so you guys, so this was done. I, I actually uh, punched this on my Swanstrom, this cutter. Okay, so we did this last week. I showed you guys how to punch them, how to sharpen those discs. If you guys have a crappy discolored system or a good one, know that you guys can sharpen these. We did that last week. If you missed it, watch it. So look, I'm going to clean up all the edges. There's not much to do because I used a nice sharp one. See how pretty that is? Super quick. We're just going to clean up the edges. Oh, maybe I won't clean up the edges just yet because we're going to hammer. So let me just clean up everywhere else. Yes, the California charm is great for a little charm bracelet, Bonnie said. Yeah, but I like a little high end. But however, um, you know where I learn a lot of this too from Rita. Rita always thinks outside the box and all her stamping is gorgeous. So this surface that is, what's it called? That is um, nasty. I'm not even going to use the scratch eraser, okay? Even though I'll probably um, put a texture on it, kind of something. I don't know. Hmm. What should I do? Should I polish it? Yeah. Let's do. Let's leave the texture on it. Let's let's clean it up with the scratch eraser, okay? Let's clean up with the scratch eraser. There we go. There. Okay, so I cleaned it up with the scratch eraser. So it's all even. So don't worry about the scratch pattern if it's like perfect, perfect, perfect. You don't have to worry about that now, you guys. So I'm thinking, I'm a little torn, you guys. Should I, what texture should I use? So you guys, okay, look, give me camera. Give me camera. So I have the hammer that I created. Yeah, where's that hammer that I put the designs on? I know! Heidi, I was just thinking that. Heidi, I love you. Oh my God. Heidi sent me beads yesterday, you guys. Stay tuned for Monday's show. I am going to transform a bead into a cabochon. And even if you have faceted beads, I'm going to show you how to turn that into a cab. Oh my God. She, she's been doing this and it's excellent. Where's the hammer? Wait, we lost the hammer. It's our $2 hammer. Does anyone use it? No. I have a steak I could use. What else did we do? I don't know. While you was looking for that hammer, let me prep. However, this surface is really bad. I should smooth it down a little. Just so that my stamping comes out a little cleaner. At least let me clean this edge. Oh, it's really rough. Oh, it's so rough. 
you guys see how rough that surface is? I'm actually going to do something. You guys should watch what I do. Oh, Yara found it. Yay. Okay, but I, before I do that, actually, so I have this ugly block. I've become, I've, rel I've been relegated to this, you guys. I used to have a gazillion bench blocks. Someone send me a bench block, Rio. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's okay. I can get one. So I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down a little. Probably real quick with a, I don't care if I mar it, you guys, because it's already crap. So let me go ahead and just, oh, that's too fast. Just kind of let me smooth it down, some of the deeper scratches. Kind of get that down. Okay, there. So I just want to smooth that section down. Do you guys see how much smoother it is from that really nasty roughness? I just used, I used, yes, I used the 80 grit ceramic. That's the 80 grit. And I'll touch it up with the 220 and just smooth it with the scotch bright. This was not planned, you guys. So I'm running these at medium speed. Nicole said what? Yes, I know. My, my block, I, I know Nicole. Nicole says she needs a good block too. So that's the 220 grit ceramic, just so you know, if you ever want to clean a surface. Oh, nice! Who said that? Lynn. Lynn says she's got her railroad stakes and her hammers or whatever, and she's ready to make the sparks this weekend. Oh, baby, you're going to do more than sparks. You're going to make something like this. Oh, yeah. Hi. Okay, so let me just smooth this down, you guys, just real quick, because I'm creating more scratches on the backs of it. I could do this finer, but I just, for the sake of time, I just wanted to smooth this down just a little bit. Yeah, so Yara put some of the stuff that I'm using on the screen, just so you guys know what I'm using, kind of to follow. Anyways, that should do it, you guys. So I put the vacuum on now, duh. So do you guys see how smooth I got it? Just so you guys can see that. And what's cool is, look, even though I ground it, you can't even feel the transition, you guys. So I'm just going to stamp on that corner because I'm really sick and tired of all those nasty, just nastiness. Okay, so yeah. So I have <laughs> the textured hammer that we made like two weeks ago. Remember this? Ba oh, that's a zoom, Yarrow. That's a... That's a zoom. You don't think. When is it going to focus? Tomorrow? There you go. Okay, so I created all these curves on it, and then I put this little basket weave with the chocolate. Um, so the basket weave was done here. That was done with the, uh, the chocolate espresso uh, grinding wheels. And then I used. Um, I created these curves with our cutting disc. So if you guys don't know about these, this is what I use to put that design in. This one. Yeah, so I actually went in like this and created all these designs. So let's go ahead and use some of that, you guys, and hammer this sucker. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to hammer this. I have no plan. Nice. I love... Okay, so everyone is t is commenting. They've got... Yes, fix it. You guys, I love it. I'm so glad. You so I want you guys to know. You guys, this is like a real life scenario. Everyone is like can relate to what's happening. Their bench block is all messed up. Their anvil needs help. Everything needs to be finished. Well, that's what happens after you whack things a million times with hammers and stuff. They get beaten, but they definitely need service. So, you know, the Jewel Tool is a service center. It's true. Honestly, this is not even a decent bench block. I'm telling you, there's like this freaking weld mark on it. I have no idea where that came from. 
But I don't know what happened to all my bench blocks. I used to have a really nice one, but whatever. So the moral of the story is you don't have to get fancy, expensive bench blocks. Or if you do get a fancy, expensive bench block, you can keep it pretty and use it without any problems and just touch it up with the jewel tool. So you'll have it for a long time. You don't have to wait for it to get ugly and beaten up before you finish it. If you start to see it's kind of looking a little, you know, not so fresh, you can touch it up real quick before it gets to the stage of crap. That's a point of no return. But however, even the point of no return, you guys have seen how I turn that a 180 degree, baby. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to use that little texture. I don't know what I'm doing, but you guys get the idea. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to whack it. Yara, you got a camera on me? Okay, well, I don't need these fingers to hold it. You know what? You can get to the center of the bench block by looking at this. I can get to the center with the four inch. You can see that? The this kind of is centered. So I definitely can get to the center on both sides. Yeah, uh, you'll be fine. So with the four inch is going to be your way to go. No, 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 I don't. Let's keep going. Okay, ready? And go. Here we go. Ooh, it's pretty. Yarrow's like, wait, wait, wait. Yarrow, things are happening fast here. Oh, hold on. Let me keep going. Ooh, pretty. No idea what I'm doing. However, this is what... This is how magic is made, guys. You don't know what in the world you're doing. Oh, yeah. Things are turning. Oh, yeah, this is looking cute. Well then, so all I'm doing is just whacking it, you guys. There's no real rhyme or reason what in the world I'm doing. There, take that. And for all you people that said that to me <laughs> and that, <laughs> There, that's what I did. And see, the back is so much more smoother and cleaner. It's just dirt that came up. There you go. See that? So that, but let's show what I did. So this is my design, guys. That's right. Don't, don't, don't copy this now. This is my own preparatory design here. However, it's really cute. You know, and if you guys, like, let's say you're making this as a gift. However, I feel like now that Yara zoomed in, I feel like I didn't get this edge. Hold on. Don't worry, you guys. I'll fix it. Oh, shit. She fell. Oh, shoot, shoot, people, shoot. We have kids watching for crying out loud. Kids can teach me some words these days. Okay, there. That's good. If you want to put little designs on the sides... kind of change it up a bit. I don't know really what I'm doing. What? Yeah, see? Yeah, that's why ha that's why people's bench blocks look like look like, you know, poopity poop. However, I put a little ring around it. Thank you, Rita. Rita gave me that idea. I saw her on her. She does a live too every day a lot of you guys i know look at the bench block ate it right there so you guys this is what i've done now wait where am i where am i no no okay front view we're doing here look at that hold on please let me hold it look at how i put like a little diamond pattern on the outside that's so pretty look at that wow i'm impressed Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to leave it a little on the matte side. What? Overhead. However, it looks a little um, abused. So I don't like how finished it looks. So y there's one. I need it to look um, like a satin finish, you guys. So this is beautiful. You guys see that? So this is a little bit not so fresh you know what I mean so I don't know what to do I might well first of all let me use the scra uh, scratch eraser to clean all the lumps and bumps do you guys see how I've changed the shape of the disc 
And this is what happens when you hammer like a mad woman. But it looks pretty, huh? Look at that, you guys. Look at the outside. Do you guys see it? Yarrow says it looks like an old gold coin from pirate ships. Okay, Yarrow, if you say so. Okay, so let's go ahead and just clean the sides. So just pay attention. If one, <laughs> one has extra little lump action, kind of concentrate your roll there. Ta-da! Look at that, you guys. It's not so lumpy bumpy. You guys see that? I love it. Nicole says, Nicole said, Bean has heard worse uh, when she's had bad studio days. I know. I've got kids too. Yeah. Rita's on, I think. Rita, are you on at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time? So I think, oh. So right here's a little off. So let's smooth it. Yeah, a scrubby might give me more texture, but I kind of want to see what, so we're pretty, cir we're circular at this point. Would you guys say maybe a little bit here at this little tip? What's nice is you can totally see it with the jewel tool. Instead of going ee, 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 not seeing anything. And so back here, we can smooth this all down too. Let's smooth this all down. However, my things are not clean. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what? Hold on. Okay, you guys. Kristen is saying to do one. I'm going to put my new fingers on. Give me a second, you guys. This will be really quick. Um, Kristen is saying to um, hashtag I love my jewel tool because the drawing is going to happen soon. And she needs to put. Um, oh, you are? <laughs> it would help if I had a scissor, but. One would think I can shar sharpen a scissor. Where? Just give me the the pink, the pinky, the pinking, the pinking shears. I want a nice design. Yeah, those things are getting driving me nuts. Sorry, guys. Life scenario. Can you cut it? Well, okay, fine. I'll do it myself. Oh! <laughs> Aren't you a sharp one? Okay, so hold on. So let me just do that. Push him back. See, if this happens, it's not like a whole, you know, birthing process, you know. You're not going into labor and having to kick out a kid. Just put them on real quick and call it a day. There's one. So remember, wrap it not so tight. Flip it around. Expose the fingertip. Roll the edges. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Ooh, who said that? Julie! Julie, Julie, give me an idea. Julie, Julie, I'm going to do that. Okay, so Julie on YouTube suggested, thank you for that, Kristen, suggested that I put a little bevel around the edges. Ho, 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 you don't have to tell me twice to put a bevel on something. Bevel, it is. So all I do is I just take a little strip. I'm not even looking at how big it is. God knows they're probably going to be like monster fingertips. And I'm just wrapping them ever so easily. Not to, don't pull it because they're stretchy, stretchy. You just, pull. there you go. So now what happens is I have, they're a little sticky to begin with. Not too sticky. They don't leave. But I always like to stick my own finger oils, kind of dull them down, touch some cloth. <laughs> And there, they're not as sticky anymore. There you go. So those are those are some technical tips here. You saw it here, here with Ani. Touch yourself. Get it out. Okay. So she suggested, you guys, that I put a little bevel on the outside edge. So we could do that. So I put the little hammer texture. Do you guys see that? So I'm gonna put a little bevel. Now, if I want to put a little bevel, you guys. Depending on how thick the material is, I might opt to do the bevel with a Trizac. Um, maybe the 35 micron because I can go straight to a polish. Or maybe if it's a little bit more tighter, like, you know, rougher or thicker, I might opt for the 220 grit. But I always like to try um, 
one that's easier. So let's try the Trizac in the course. Well, that's pretty. So do you guys see we put a little a little bevel on it? Ooh, that adds another dimension of fanciness. So you're just going to hold it there and glide it back and forth. And if you can't see what you've done, just mark it, you guys, and kind of maybe go over it one more time to make sure it's fluid. You guys, you guys with me here? Are you guys with me here? You guys following me? I don't know. You guys see how you can get so creative? And I love all your... Um, see, you guys see how I follow that like that? Aw, Susan Wong gave a... First she says, hi, Susan. Susan said she loves her jewel tool. Thank you. And then she gave another birthday shout-out to my girl, Kat. Yeah, so the tri the Trizac that I'm using, Yara put on the screen for your reference. They have four different grades. Now, we can, like, even if I left this, like, matte, it still looks pretty good. Hold on, let me show you guys. Look. Hold on, let it focus. So even if I left it matte. Hi, Suni. Cheryl has joined us. Hello, hello. Pretty cool. So now what you can do, you guys. Yeah, let's so I don't know if I should leave everything matte. What do I want it to pop? Maybe listen, you negotiator says, Can you shine shoes with jewel tool? You know, don't laugh. People have <laughs> buffed all sorts of things. So Oh, Kat says, Susan, Susan introduced to Kat to the Jewel Tools. Why, thank you, Susan. You're such a good friend. Only a good friend would do that. So, you guys, I might want to touch it up, you guys, with the, what is it called? With the scratch eraser. So, you want to do a matte surface with high polished edges. Okay. So I'll mat out the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and mat out the middle. Hmm. No, so I'll wait to polish the edge after. So if I'm going to mat the inside, you guys, I will polish the outside after. Actually, I want to just see something, you guys, real quick. So I have the very fine 300 grit. I just want 3,000, 3,000 grit. Sorry, my bad. I just want to see what that looks like on the top. Just so, like, walk with me through my experimenting. So I'm using the 5 micron. I just want to see what it does to what, I ju what my texture is going to look like. Yeah. Hold on. One second. So you guys see, hold on. You guys can't see what I'm seeing. Give me a second. So what I did was I kind of highlight a little bit of my texture in the center with the fine, very fine, um, the very fine Trizac. Okay, so um, it's like really yarrow. It's focused. It's very nice. Okay. So I did that, so it's going to still leave a little matte look on the inside. I don't know how much of a matte look I want, you guys. What do you guys, is it matte enough? Let's compare. Oh, it's matted. Oh, it's matted. Oh, yeah, it's matted. What do you guys think? So what do you guys think? Should I leave it like this and polish the outer edge? What do you think? Should I leave high points? Leave the background? I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know. Got you guys went quiet on me. Kristen's not talking in my ear. Oh yeah, you can. Yaro just said I can even 
bevel around this. How sick would that look? Oh my God, Yarl. I mean, it just, you can just keep going and going. It's like, it's lovely. You're the creative juices just keep flowing. Okay, giving me thumbs up. You guys like it? Okay, good. Kristen told me what you guys are doing, so I'm going to keep going. Hi, Leslie. Welcome, welcome. So since I hit it with the green, the what? Oh my God, I totally forgot, Leslie, to check on the dog thinning shears. Uh, today, I will remind myself to look at them. I have to look at them to remember what they, what they look like. So the reason, you guys, I'm not using... Okay, we can do that. So that's what I was kind of doing, is trying to get high points polish without losing the background. That's what I was really trying to do. Yeah, so my hammer did leave somewhat of a higher polish, but I'm going to try this, you guys. Give me a second to see what I can do. Hmm. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and polish it. Okay, so I'm going to polish the outside edge. Oh, I know what I could do. Just wait ya just one cotton picking second. One second. Let me think let me try something before I go for the polish on the outside. Give me a second. Let's check something out, boys and girls. Let's see what happens here. Okay, this is pretty good, you guys. Okay, so it's not completely high polish. Hold on. Let me hold it properly. Well, maybe I'll just put it back here. Okay. Yes, let's almost emboss. So it's still got a matte look to it, you guys. You see that? But it did bring up the high, um, the high lit areas. You guys see that? I wonder if I put a patina on the back of this. <gasps> okay, let's not get crazy, Ani. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish the outside. So let's go ahead and polish this. I'm glad Lynn says her husband is enjoying my enthusiasm. I'm glad I can be entertainment to y'all today. You know, laughter is like medicine, they say. So I'm going to polish the outside rim. Do you guys see how I blackened it all out? So if you guys have any questions at what I'm doing, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my, look at that. Look at that. Hello. Yeah, try to do this by hand. Good luck. Good luck. So there we go. We put, oh my God, how cute did that pop? <gasps> Should I see what the face looks like if I just touch it up just a little? Did I do anything? Kind of. I think I'm going to do that again. Look at that. I did bring the high points polished. High points polished. High points polished. <gasps> I did. I, high po I, I polished all the high points. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm happy with this. Do you guys see this now? Do you see how the back is matted? And yet we have the little ring of light. The little ring of sunshine here. Woo! -hoo. That looks... Yarrow says he thinks it looks expensive. Honestly, it really does. So that is so pretty, you guys. If someone was wearing this, Number one, I would be like, how did, it's very eye-catching, you guys. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, you know what? Marcy did say it'll make a pretty ring. It's so true. It would make a pretty ring. Honestly, you guys, 
I'm tempted to not even put it together, but I can put it together, you guys, with the hole. Should I should I put this on here and, and drill a hole right here, you guys? <laughs> Leslie is so cute. Leslie goes, I love my jewel tools. Both of them. Bam. Drop the mic. So what should I do, you guys? Should I drill a hole at the top and put a jump ring? Should I leave it? What should I do? Maybe I'll drill a hole. I gotta find a burr first. Do I have a round burr? You g it's okay. Do you guys want me just to drill a hole in it? Let's just drill a hole and end it. Let's say we filled up, we d finished a project. What do you guys think? Should I drill a hole? Let's just drill a hole. Okay. The what? Oh, I'm not giving anyone a time. Okay, you guys decide while I decide. Yeah, so Janet says keep them separate. Now I'm torn. Janet. Janet. Janet says keep them separate. Okay, you guys. If you guys don't talk, I'm going to go in for the drill. <laughs> what do I do? I'm torn. You see, this is an interactive show. This is what live is all about. If you can't interact with your audience in a live, then what are you doing live for? Just sit there and stare at a camera and edit the video. You know, I love interacting with you guys. I love hearing your opinion. Like, I wouldn't have thought of some of this stuff had you guys not, like, told me, do this, do that, do that. So I do it. <laughs> okay, so you guys, a lot of people said leave them separate. I think I'm just going to drill a hole because I'm going to wear it because it's cute. <laughs> Honestly, some things I, d I'm very picky, you guys. You don't understand. I'm like really, really picky. So, but I want to, I want to drill it. So I'm speaking, I want to finish it and drill it. So you guys, I'm going to use, I found a burr. It was like, I think that was a sign. I found this handpiece with a round ball burr in it already. So I, I'm kind of feeling like this is a sign. You know, I'm one of those weirdos that love signs. I like wait for a sign for things. So what did uh, Margaret say or Leslie? Okay, Margaret. Margaret's very against the drilling. I can turn it into ring top. But guess what, Margaret? I have another. I have another dish. It took me really quick to do it. I can do another one. So we'll make a ring top on another show. Uh, oh, by the way, you guys, I spoke with Danny Wade yesterday, and so Danny is sending me some rings that he casted, and he's sending me his most popular stamps, and we're going to work on his stamps. So save your ideas for the upcoming shows, my friends. Yeah, I think I'm just going to drill it because we can do so many new things, and who knows, like I said, Danny's going to send me some of his stamps next week, so... Mm. Um, I know. So look, I'll just switch it off. I'm not even going to bother. So if you guys don't know how to change a handpiece, I just pulled it off, and you run it at slow speed, and you got to make sure that little paddle kind of clicks in there, and then it just clicks in just like that. Some of them are tight, and uh, you need a little bit more elbow grease to get it in, but for the most part, that's how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and drill it. Um, since, since the, oh God, this is like sitting everywhere. I got hammers on it. So since the discs, you guys, it doesn't matter basically where I'm going to drill. It's not like an, an alphabet where I got to make sure the A, I'm not even going to waste my time and, um, mark it. So you guys, you guys are going to laugh so hard. So while I was cleaning my bench, look at, look at my it's just from Grow Bay back in the day, you guys. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Pro Cut. Like, what the hell? Who is Pro Cut? But you know what, you guys? The wax still works. 
Anyways, Lori sent me her her bird life from Rio, but I don't know. I feel like this is so um, like it's very powdery. I'm not used to working with that. I like my I like my old fashioned ones that are a little bit more greasy. Like look, still works. This is probably like over 20 years old. And when I say that, I'm not joking. So whenever you're gonna drill a hole, you guys. So just start at an angle. You guys can see that here. Let me move over here. So you guys start at an angle. Okay, so, oh shit, hold on. Shoot, 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 hold on. I'm trying to show the camera. So I want you just to start off at the angle and let it go, okay? And then once it creates a seat, shoot. Just hold, this is not a good burr. It's a little old but we'll make it work. I worked with worse in my life. So now once I got that little seat, just go like this. You know, if you need a little bit more burr life, there you go. You guys see that? So we'll just drill. Yeah, my burr's a little on the dying side. Huh, no, this is the burr. So we're pretty much done drilling. There we go. So yeah, so look, we, so we got the hole right here uh-huh okay so if it, you did scratch something up a little because I did slip <laughs> I slipped you can just clean it up on the jewel tool so my burr I should have checked this is a good way to check if your burr is sharp hey <laughs> it's seen better days but I'll just keep going let's keep it going okay Oh, so this is not a diamond tip. This is just a burr, like a like a bush burr, kind of. Oh wait, I have more in here. Oh crap! Duh. Hold on. Look what I have in here. This is by Bush, Bush Burrs. So when you get a new one, you guys, you just pop it open like this. Bush actually has some great burrs. I actually know this company. The head guy is super sweet. I'm talk to him so it just slides right out oh this is a brand new one super nice and sharp let's take you off who knows how old you've been found it in my drawer for crying out loud so let's put a new burr on it really helps you guys but now watch I slip again <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and what is this sorry guys Okay, so let's go ahead and drill this bad boy. Let's go ahead and get this going. So, I, am I okay with the camera angle, Yarrow? Okay, so let me just hold it here. Yeah, but like look at you guys how when it's sharp, I don't slip. Like, do you guys see that? And so now when I've cut it, created the seat, you can just now roll a little like this. And look at, look at how much faster it did that, you guys. Let me go ahead, go, let me go all the way in. There. So, look, you saw me work a burr that was pretty old. First of all, it took a little longer to drill, I'm not gonna lie, and I slipped. So <laughs> that's what happens when you have, yeah. So let me go ahead and, so now, you guys, let's say that the back is a little rough because I drilled it, and the back is rough on both of them because I drilled it. Do you guys see that? So what do I do when this happens? Well, guess what? I go to my jewel tool real quick. Now, you can knock it off a, a lot of ways. You can knock it off really quick with the sc uh, scratch eraser, real quick, real quick, within a second. So my overhead? Okay, so as you can see, look, do you guys see how rough it is? where the hole is. So I'm just gonna go like this. There, now, oh, smooth as butter. And then I do the same with this one. This one's really bad because it was a, look, you can even see how raised it is because let it focus, Yaro said. You guys see how raised it is? So that's because it was dull and look, I scratched it. Look at all the mess I made. So I pushed the metal through instead of it drilling and I scratched over here. But don't have no fear, the jewel tool is here. 
But look at how perfect I did that without even creating any scratches. It's still polished. Talk about detailed. So now let me clean up that oof, that little boo boo that I did. Don't worry, Jewel Tool is here. Everything will be right in the world. Smooth all the boo boos. Pretend nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. I don't know what you guys are talking about. And then I quickly polish. Oh my God, Susan is hilarious. Susan says she's watching as her husband is driving. I love it. Awesome, Susan. Yeah, so I'm, okay, so I'm almost done, you guys. Kristen's like, am I almost done? I'm like, yeah, I'm almost done. So let me clean up all the stuff that I did. A what? Dull burr, yeah, listen. I love you for that. Thank you for, so I got, the question is, can I sharpen a dull burr? The jewel tool, can it sharpen a dull burr? Now, the jewel tool definitely can sharpen a whole lot of things, you guys, but a burr is not in its world. No, you're just gonna have to buy a new one. If it's a larger burr, yeah, but come on, Yarrow. It's not a larger burr. Nope. So just touch it up just a little quick little zippity doo da. Okay, so let me go ahead and take my little fingers off because I want to hold this really nicely. And so I'm going to put the little jump ring on. Let me first wipe anything that has happened. Fingerprints, compound, whatever it is. Look, there we go. Great. Great, great, great. And here we go again. She's so cute, Margaret. I know, I'm like, Margaret, I know you think I'm good, but damn, girl. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. So while her husband's driving, he says it's very entertaining. Even though he can't see it, he's listening, and he finds it entertaining. Well, I'm glad, sir, you find it entertaining. I do my best to make everyone happy, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here, you guys. So let's grab a jump ring. Okay, I don't know, it's not, nothing special. Don't get excited. This jump ring's not the greatest. But it will serve its purpose today. So I have two chain nose pliers. Do you guys know that as a jeweler, I never knew what the name of these pliers are. But since I hear you guys say it all the time, I know that they're called chain nose pliers. But I'm sure if you asked a bunch of jewelers out there, None of them would know what a chain nose plier is, just so you know. They, they don't call pliers by name. <laughs> but, and then, so you got to make sure that, oh, this is a story in my life. I used to do this as a kid all the time. So if it's not even, of course, you guys know, push it towards. And if it's always, if there's a gap, push it towards each other. But for the most part, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm very picky. Look at what we did. Oh, oh my God, that does look so pretty. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this and post a picture. No, this is pretty. Let everyone see the detail. I really liked all your suggestions, you guys. You guys really did a cute little job putting the little bevel on the edges. Woohoo! Look at this. Yeah, plain Jane this. Look at this. However, I did have an inspiration. It started reminding me of what Rita made. So, and then, but this is so ugly. Can we polish that real quick? There you go. Okay. Oh, Marcy says she's listening to me while she's driving home from work. She can't watch, of course. So look, you guys, I should have wore a chain. Actually, I have a chain. Okay, we have to ignore the chain. It's nothing to write home about. I don't even know what this, oh God, this is like the chains we used to use as kids. However, it's a chain. Oh wait, we have chains here, Yarrow. Where's the bag of chains? Kristen, don't we have those bag of chains that I would do on my make and take? Oh man, Kristen, God. Bless it. <laughs> so, you guys, the unveiling. 
Wow. Okay, you guys don't lie. If you guys saw like someone wearing this, definitely. Okay, my hair. Listen, Yaro, it's my hair. Leave it alone. Um, wouldn't you guys like be staring at this? I'd be staring at it. I'd be like, oh, that's nice. I'd be like, if it was a better chain, I'd be like questioning if it was silver. I mean, if it was gold. Honestly, I would. Here, you know what? Who's a bigger jeweler snob than me? My sister. My sister's here, Laura. Get over here. Just look at the camera. You don't have to be on camera. But look at what I made. And tell me your God honest opinion. I swear, you guys, you don't understand. Nothing impresses her. She used to go and buy Tanzanite for even jewelry television back in the day. Laura, look at this. Huh? Yeah, I made this. <laughs> Lori goes, it's really nice. Let me see it. You gotta say it louder. But <laughs> my sister goes, is that for me though? Yeah, it's really pretty. Honestly, I would wear this. Yeah, isn't that pretty? We're 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 jeweler snobs here. You gotta know. So I'm really excited. So any design that you guys make, you guys put a design on the hammer. But the whole idea is to finish it. So, like, look, even at the back, if someone was to see this, like, come on. Like, hello. This is, and then if they were to hold it. Not only that, people love to touch things. When you touch it, you guys, it feels expensive. Yeah, it feels refined. It feels finished. So if you're going to take the time to make something, finish it, you know. And I know you guys know I'm just, like, preaching to the choir I know, but if I wear it, and we call it a day, the what? Oh, we gotta do the giveaway! I totally forgot about the giveaway. I got so excited. All I saw was shiny gold, and that's it. That's where my brain goes. Hi, Sue. Thank you, Sue Minnick. Sue Minnick. You know, Sue, you are my little star. I said this from the beginning. So when I did, oh, that looks so cute. When I did uh, classes here, Sue actually came to one of the classes, and Sue had a jewel tool in the box. <sighs> it's okay. I love her. I forgive you all who have it in the box. So she was like a polishing warrior. She made a beautiful stone from rough to polish. She polished the cuff we made in the class. And then she's like, oh, I love this. I don't know. I can't believe I left it in the box for all this time. And now Sue is like a foremost jewel tool uh, leader. She tells everyone, follow here. Like, you know, when you go on tour and someone's holding the flag and you have to follow the leader? That's Sue Minnick right there. That's a good analogy, I swear, Sue. So anyways, my little prize uh, student who has surpassed all my expectations. So you guys, we have... We have some excitement happening here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of names, you guys. Look, I'm just going to shake them. Shake them up. Oh, so you are now going. Whoever is the winner is going to be getting, what I do with it? The four-inch here. I'll just use my, oh, this one. It's under my plier. The four-inch scrubby. The medium the purple. So look, I'll put it right there. No, I'll put it behind so you guys can see me pull. You see how these little organizers hold these? Nice. We got Nicole's out yesterday. Nicole, you ordered some more of these, uh, the medium size. It's in the mail. I remember doing that yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to pull it. Let me say a little, little wish. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Drum roll, please. Thrrr. Kathy Keaton is our winner of the four inch medium scrubby. Congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner of a four inch scrubby. Just give us your contact info and Kristen will make sure we get this out to you privately, of course. So you guys, I really appreciate you guys watching today. Um, so this is so unexpected, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, but just remember, when you guys have nice hammers, anything is possible. Like, look at this. Like, look. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? I'm going to wear this all day. I'm going to wear it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm not going to see that many people today because no one really sees. But I'm going to wear it and see what my kids say. Let me see what those kids say. Kristen's laughing. Chris, Kristen knows that they're so <laughs> hard to please. I'm going to wear them. Let's see if they notice. So, yay. Congratulations. So, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, show. It was lots of fun. And we even cheered to our birthday girl, Kat. Um, I just want you to know I have exciting stuff. You know, that's when I start thinking, what else am I going to show? What else am I going to do? I have more ideas because you guys keep giving me ideas. And I'm like, well, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. So keep them coming, girls and boys. Keep them coming. So like I said, Heidi sent me a bunch of beads. And they arrived yesterday. So I almost was tempted to do that today. But then I said, let me do the stamping. That's something we haven't done. Cat, you're my kind of girl. Cat says, now to sit down and think about a jewel tool birthday order. Right? You do this. Your husband totally loves you, Cat. I just want you to know. He's so cute yesterday. He sent me a message, told me it was your birthday. So, so you guys, so don't forget, you guys, if you guys are more mainly on Instagram, which I know you're not, but if you're, you know, venturing out and doing Instagram, um, you guys find me on Instagram. So if you guys post anything, I can share it. You know, I've built a following on Instagram. Um, there's all sorts of people there. So it's a good way, way to, yeah. I don't know what y'all said, but I said, yeah, to. Yeah, but I told you guys, if you want to see a little fun side to Ani, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me this week. It really, you guys, you guys say I've done a lot for you, but truly you guys have done a lot for me. Um, so um, our sale was over, right, Yaro? Okay, so Yaro says that, Yes, so Yarl says that they're working on an early Father's Day sale. News to me. So you guys, so stay tuned. So we're Friday. So any sales that we have will probably kick in by tonight. So just so you know, be on the lookout for emails that come from me. They'll probably come once a day, just to remind you. And if you're not subscribed, register on our website so you get my emails. We don't really bombard you with emails. We just tell you about a sale. I don't tell you about what I ate last night or my blog in my fog. Yara, what do you think Father's Day? No. No, we were No, you guys. No, no. Yara got Yara, no, no. We're not doing early Father's Day. Yara said it wrong. If anything, we do my birthday before then. We do a celebration of Ani. My birthday is June 12th. What are you getting me for my birthday, Laura? Yeah, she says her. Right, she's going to try to snatch this off of myself. my neck. Oh. Wrap myself in a bow. Anyways, you guys, I appreciate everything. And I just wish you guys a fabulous, healthy, and happy weekend. And Kat, enjoy your birthday, girl. You deserve it. Thanks for watching. And just don't forget, you guys, if you're going to post anything, tag me or post it to the Jewel Tool community. And I'll be sure to snatch it and post it everywhere for the world to see how magnificent you all are. I love you guys and blessings to you all. Mwah. Have a nice weekend. See you guys here on Monday. Cheers.